All right, well, after a gorgeous afternoon for us this evening, beginning to cool off a bit for us, but it should remain quiet. Temperatures are going to drop around those low to mid 30s with a few outlining areas dropping into the upper 20s. But as we take a look back at the yesterday, it was a bit cooler for us with temps only topping off in those middle 50s at 56 degrees, 29 for our low yesterday, so a bit chilly for us, but those both are still above average for this time of the year. I know it's kind of hard to really grasp how cool we should be, especially since last year we were much cooler at this time of the year. But you'll notice normal highs at 41 and 26 records, 69 and 5 degrees, nowhere near those numbers. But we are going to see as we head over the next few days a cool off in store for us, and we'll be getting closer to this normal high of only 41. But as for today, a bit warmer, 57 in Marquette, 60 as you head farther south in Iron Mountain, 53 in Escanaba. And more of those 50s as you head back here into Ontonagon and Houghton, almost at 60 degrees. But our winds right now are coming in from the southwest, 13 in Marquette, 9 in Escanaba, while at 15 in Munising, and at 13 currently out of the west in Houghton. We are expecting these to weaken, but pick up once again out of the south between 5 to 10 into the afternoon. So it won't be quite as windy as what we saw today, but we are going to still see that milder air mass being, being brought northward because of those south winds and tonight with the winds dying off it should be a chilly for chilly one for us but mostly sunny skies will return that will help to warm things up as well as those south south winds so getting ready for more of those uh, 50s as we go into our tuesday afternoon and rain it is on the way not so much as we head into wednesday but wednesday night and on into thursday that's when our next system will arrive and that is going to bring us that next chance of showers but here's a look at your setup right now high pressure farther to our south here into missouri that milder air mass uh, climbing around this area of high pressure, trying to sneak its way into the Great Lakes. Not going to really do so much as we go into the afternoon tomorrow. It looks like we'll be right around those same numbers that we were today, but the next system is off to our west. You can see back here into uh, North Dakota, Montana, they're seeing some of that frozen precipitation. For us, uh, we're going to remain dry, not only just for tonight or tomorrow, but also as we head into Wednesday. But eventually later on this week, that cool air will arrive. We'll see a chance of a rain-snow mix as we get closer to our Friday as we'll eventually get those temperatures near that freezing mark. And uh, we'll see just what it means in terms of accumulations. But for right now, it doesn't look to be much at all, if any. But it will be a much cooler end to our work week than what we're going to start off here on Monday and Tuesday. But here's a look at your future cast model throughout the night mostly clear skies will remain partly the mostly clear on into tomorrow before we head into our Wednesday and that's when clouds will start to work their way in from the southwest showers beginning to work their way into the region by Wednesday night and we'll be looking out for some of those heavier showers on into Wednesday night and rain even lingering on for us as we head into Sunday but behind that will be the snow. You can already see it, see it beginning to shape up back there into a Minnesota. But for tonight here, we'll be at 29 degrees, so below freezing, but not expecting many clouds at all. Clear and cold for us with winds that are expected to be light. Heading into our Tuesday, it's just going to be a typical November afternoon with highs making their way into the low to mid 50s, which is, well, as you noticed before, well above average for this time of the year, but not so much so like we saw last week when we were in the 60s and the 70s. But look at your highs at 53 in Crystal Falls, 54 in Ontonagon, 53 in Houghton, at 57 in Munising, 50 degrees in Escanaba and at 52 here in Marquette. And that's where we're going to be after uh, starting off right around 34 during the 8 a.m. hour, dropping to a 41 by tomorrow night. Sunrise at 745 a.m. and your seven-day forecast. 48 heading into Wednesday, and now the rain comes in Wednesday night on into Thursday, a high of 46 on Thursday. Rain and snow for us on Friday, and those numbers will get closer to average on Friday, but we are going to bounce back. Saturday, we'll be at 43. 50 by the time we work our way into Sunday and 46 on Monday.